So we know normally following the Baltimore Ravens game that John Harbaugh will have a presser where he'll provide updates on any injuries that happen throughout the game. They'll be very vague and very brief, but updates nonetheless. But then the following day, he'll usually provide a bit more detail, and that's exactly what we got yesterday. Although some of that detail was kind of strange and almost a little weird, but at the same time, it was very encouraging too. Starting off with Marcus Williams. We know Marcus Williams last week in that Texans game, he got hurt. Uh, he left the game and did not return. And reports were flying around that Marcus Williams tore his peck and that he would possibly be done for the season. But then uh, shortly after the game, it was said that Marcus Williams was a lot more optimistic and that maybe he didn't fully tear his peck or maybe the type of tear that it was, it wasn't as bad as initially feared and that he had movement in his arm and it was swollen, but at the same time, it wasn't as bad as they may have thought. So then last week as well, Harbaugh spoke and he said that with Marcus Williams, he was going to have to make a decision whether he wanted to have surgery or whether he wanted to try to rehab. But one thing that Harbaugh did say that was definitive, he said Marcus Williams is going to be out for a while. Now we know Harbaugh, he does not give many definitive statements when it comes to injuries. He learned his lesson from that a long time ago. So when he says he's, you're going to be out for a while, though, you are going to be out for a long period of time. And we remember just last year, same player, Marcus Williams, when he had his wrist injury, Harbaugh said he is going to be out for a while. And Marcus Williams missed eight, nine, maybe 10 games. I forget the exact amount, but he was gone for a minute. Uh, so when Harbaugh said it this year, I'm like, oh, OK. Yeah, Marcus Williams is going to be out for a long time, but he does have the possibility of coming back. So that was encouraging. But what's been really weird about this whole thing, and I spoke about this on Bobby Trice's channel yesterday, and it's funny because timing is everything, because we spoke about how it's been very weird how the Ravens have been moving with Marcus Williams, because Harbaugh said he was going to be out for a while, but they didn't put him on injury reserve. So I'm like, they really keeping him on the roster right now. It's only 53 spots on the roster. Those roster spots are extremely valuable. And for them to hold a player on a roster who's going to be out for a while, that was strange. Because with, with Marlon Humphrey, it's different. With Marlon Humphrey, it's expected that he's going to be back any week now. He could come back this week. It was almost expected that he was going to be back last week, but he could come back this week. I, so I could see why they didn't put him on injury reserve. But Harbaugh said he's going to be back early in the season. With Marcus Williams, it was the opposite. He did not say Marcus Williams was going to be back early on in the season. He said he's going to be out for a while. But Harbaugh, he provided an update on that yesterday. And he said that with Marcus Williams, and, and this was 41 minutes after we talked about it on Bobby Trice's channel. So I was like, oh, that timing is everything. It's strange. But anyway, Harbaugh said that Marcus Williams, it, he elected to do rehab. And then he also said that he is not going on injured reserve. And I was like, whoa, that, oh. I was like, okay, well, all right. And that's cool because that, that gives me even more optimism because it's like, man, he's not going on injury reserve. Because if you say somebody's going to be out for a while, you, you will put them on injury reserve because they would have to miss at least four games. But if you said it's a while, then I think that's a bit more than four games. That's a lot more than four games, especially coming from Harbaugh. But the fact that they are not putting him on injury reserve, it's like, wait a minute now. Could we get Marcus Williams back a lot earlier than we expected? That would be beautiful news if that's the case. So hopefully with Marcus Williams, uh, he can come back bigger, stronger, faster, uh, and, and just better, but healthy as well. And Because that would be a great boost for the Baltimore Ravens because I, I thought all hope was lost. I, when, when he got that injury and then they said it's a pec injury, I thought, oh, yeah, oh, well, okay, I guess he's done for the year. Okay, that's a, that's a wrap. But the way that the Ravens have been moving, they like, oh, no, 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 no. It's not a wrap, especially with them not even putting him on injury reserve. Now, we got a couple more injury updates to talk about. We got to talk about Odell Beckham Jr. We got to talk about Adolfo Wade. We got to talk about Marlon Humphrey and some other guys, too. But before we do that, let's hear from our sponsor. Now, we know Morgan & Morgan makes your injury claims easy and quick. But you know what else is quick? Kyle Busch. And as a proud partner of Driver Kyle Busch, Morgan & Morgan is giving away two tickets to see Kyle Busch race in Las Vegas plus a $2,000 check. And just as simple as it is to file a claim with Morgan & Morgan, which you can do in eight clicks or less, it'll be just as easy to enter to try to win your two free tickets. To enter, go to morganvegas.com slash engravingvids or text engraving to for the people. That's 484-373-6753. Or click one of the links in the video's description. So Odell Beckham Jr., who played briefly in that Bengals game, and he was getting involved early. 
Uh, he left the game and he did not return. He was on the sideline in a hoodie, he's standing around and whatnot, but he did not return to the game. And they said he left with an ankle injury. So a lot of us were like, oh boy, this is something that he dealt with during the offseason, too. Please say it ain't so. Not Odell Beckham Jr. But Ian Rappaport reported an update shortly after the game. He said Ravens wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. has an ankle injury. And after the game, Coach John Harbaugh described it as minor. My understanding is Beckham is managing the issue. And if all goes well, it shouldn't affect his availability going forward. And I said, OK, well, I like that. I like that. And that, that's a beautiful update and updates that we really not used to as Ravens fans, especially when a player leaves a game and doesn't return. Uh, we always fear the worst because a lot of times it has been the worst. But with Odell Beckham Jr., that is nice that. It's minor. Harbaugh did describe it as a minor injury, uh, but it's nice when we get a report, an outside report that shows, hey, it, it is actually minor. That's a beautiful thing. And with the Baltimore Ravens, I just got to commend them and Eric DeCosta how he constructed the team this year because even with Odell Beckham Jr. out, Ravens offense was still rolling uh, once they got it going, and they weren't even at full strength. But they started, they kept moving the ball. They did not miss much of a beat. They still kept things going. So that says a lot about the quality of the depth at wide receiver on this team, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Harbaugh also provided updates on uh, Adafe away as well. Uh, now, Harbaugh did say, uh, we've got a lot more information. I'm going to keep that close to the vest right now. I can tell you this. If there's any long-term issue, we'll let you know. If it's something where it's going to be any kind of injury reserve thing or something like that, we're not there right now with anybody. And that is a beautiful thing. Harbaugh talked about how the injuries to both uh, Odell Beckham Jr. and Adafi Away were minor. Now, while he did say nobody's going to IR right now, which is good because that means that, hey, maybe they could come back next week. Maybe it could only be two weeks or whatever. It's a short, short, short-term injury. Jeff Zrebeck said that after the game, Adafi Away was in a walking boot. And when players are in a walking boot, I've, I've never seen anything good come from that. Not that it's a season-ending injury, but usually when players are in walking boots, that's, that's not a good sign. Um, and that indicates normally ankle sprain, whether high or low ankle sprain. Um, but that usually indicates, oh, yeah, that player going to be out for a couple of weeks. Um, so with Adafi away, it's just I, I, we'll, we'll wait and see how it goes with him. Um, I remember during the game, Jadavian Clowney was out there a lot. You saw them hands on his side. He was tied up but was exhausted. And I thought that initially that Adafi Away got benched. I was like, oh, because Jeff Zrebic reported that, oh, Adafi Away, he ain't really been playing in the second half at all. Haven't seen him. And I was like, oh, he, he got benched really that quick? But it apparently it was because of his injury. Uh, and that's unfortunate. But, again, Ravens, they, they prepared a bit there too. But now think about this. Something to remember that for their pass rush, um, for their edge guys, outside linebackers, they're not even at full strength yet. Because remember, uh, Tyus Bowser, Tyus Bowser, is still, he he hasn't come back yet. So he's he's supposed to miss the first uh, four games, and then after that, he'll be eligible to return. So Ravens still got some more guys to get back. Uh, also think about this too, with how good, how great the offensive line performed. Uh, just the other day against some Cincinnati Bengals. Tyler Linderbaum and Ronnie Stanley, they were out. They did not play. And who knows how long they're going to be out for. I know Harbaugh did say that it is week to week. So we'll, we'll see this week if they return to practice, either one of them. But they can still come back. So, again, it, it's very encouraging because Ravens are not at full strength right now, but they're strong. Ravens are not all the way healthy right now, but they're a strong team. Ravens have been making steady improvements. We, and I know it's only been two weeks, so we still got to see the level of consistency. But Ravens, they're making some noise right now. And they're showing themselves in a big way, and they are not even at full strength. Uh, and also, Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey is another one. that You saw, and Bobby Trotter made a really good point on, on his, in his video yesterday that we did together, that with the Baltimore Ravens secondary, their toughest test is probably going to be the Cincinnati Bengals because you got Jamar Chase and you got T. Higgins, two number one receivers, but then you got Tyler Boyd, too. You got Irv Smith Jr., you got Mixon. But as far as pass offense, their toughest test is probably going to be the Cincinnati Bengals. You still got to see them again. And not to say they won't have other challenges because they certainly will. 
uh, in the league. But they went against those guys, and they held it down without Marlon Humphrey, without Marcus Williams, without all the guys that were hurt. They went and held it in Cincinnati too. They did that in Cincinnati. So once they get more full strength, just imagine how good this Baltimore Ravens team can be. And something else to think about, seven of the points that Cincinnati got, now you can't take away points from anybody because you get them how you get them, but seven of the points they got was on a punt return. It wasn't from the offense. It was from a punt return. So this defense, man, Mike McDonald, they, they doing something, man. They doing something. And once they get that pass, oh, if they, if they can get that pass rush to, <laughs> it could be something serious Now, flipping it back to the offensive side of the ball Lamar Jackson, he also had an injury too And he said he got a little stinger in his hand But he said it'll be okay I think he said he got it on a, one of the, the plays where he ran uh, Maybe he fell on it wrong I, I don't remember exactly what happened But he had a little stinger in his hand But it is not uh, a major injury or anything like that So Lamar Jackson should be good Now, of course, um, when they practice on Wednesday uh, we'll see if anybody missing from practice, if, if there's somebody who's not out there. And then, of course, we'll see who is out there. Maybe we get some guys returning who may have been out for a little while because that's always good to see. But these Baltimore Ravens, man, they, they, they really got something special this year. They really do. And if you don't see it, I, I don't know how you don't see it, but they got a real chance to make a lot of noise. Even with all the injuries that we so used to them getting, all the injuries that they have, something that's very, very encouraging about these Baltimore Ravens is with all these injuries that they are sustaining right now, that all of these guys, obviously except J.K. Dobbins, unfortunately, but all of the rest of the guys that are injured right now, they expect it to be back. So we can say at the end of the season, they won't have to be like, I'm out. 